Welcome everyone to Sandro Goes Off, the only show that can come back after a long ass hiatus, but better, stronger, and faster than ever. Just kidding, it's not as fast. Anyway, what the hell are we doing today? What the fuck are we doing today? I'll tell you what the fuck we're doing. We're talking about The Disaster Artist. The Disaster Artist, produced by Evan Goldberg and Seth Rogen, tells the story of the room, not just the room, not a room like this, but THE room. To those of you that don't know or have been living under a rock, THE room is one of the worst films ever made. I shit you not, it is fucking awful. It was created by a madman named by Tommy Wiseau. Now, Mr. Wiseau is an enigma, so to say. Nobody knows his real name. Nobody knows his ethnicity, and nobody knows how he has so much fucking money. Now, this movie looks like a piece of shit, and supposedly, it cost six million dollars. So, you've ever wondered what a six million dollar piece of shit looks like? Well, take a look for yourself. How much is it? It'll be eighteen dollars. Go, keep the change. Hi, doggy. You're my favorite customer. Thanks a lot. Bye. I did not hit her. It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. One of them found out about it, beat her up so bad she ended up in a hospital on Guerrero Street. <laughs> you gotta tear me apart, Lisa! Ugh. Pretty fucking garbage. So yes, that movie was made in 2003, yet it looks like a made-for-TV movie set in like late 90s. But that's, that's a real movie, it really had a Hollywood premiere, a lot of people put their time, money, and effort into Mr. Wiseau's film, and it came out disastrous, so to say. So, the disaster artist tells the story of how Tommy Wiseau and company created this horrible movie. Now the film stars um, Dave and James Franco as Greg and Tommy Wiseau respectively with um, Seth Rogen, Paul Scheer, um, Alison Brie as supporting cast. Now when we're watching this film you're going to see a bunch of other A-listers that make cameo appearances. I'm not going to spoil it, it's just something you have to see to believe. The only reason you have to see to believe it is because they fucking praise The Room, the, the really shitty movie The Room. This story is batshit crazy. It's fucking crazy because Tommy Wiseau, in my opinion, I think Tommy Wiseau is either the greatest actor alive or the most fucking craziest person alive. I really can't tell. I honestly can't tell. Because like, when you see the the room and you watch the disaster artist, Tommy Wiseau is like that the whole fucking time. Like, you watch the room and it's just like, this guy's just acting. Like, he's overacting, you know? It's just like, whatever. But... The Disaster Artist shows that Tommy Wiseau is a very difficult and complicated person to figure out, and that's actually how he is in real life, which is fucking blows my mind every time I think about it. Tommy Wiseau was probably the biggest diva I've ever seen. Like, you know, you hear like those horror stories about Barbara Streisand or Madonna. Tommy Wiseau was a fucking dick making this film, and James Franco, God bless his soul, he illustrates that to a T. I felt like I was watching the real Tommy Wiseau act out reenacting the fucking room. That's how it felt. Like, he knocks it out of the park. And you know, um, that's not to say that, you know, his brother, um, Dave Franco fucking didn't knock it out of the park either. He, he was great also, but James just went to a whole nother level. Dare I say, he's probably going to win an Oscar. He probably will win Best Actors Award. And it'll just fucking blow my mind if at the Oscars this year, James Franco goes up on stage for portraying Tommy Wiseau and gives the Oscar to Tommy Wiseau. It will just blow my mind. I kind of want that to happen, I'm not going to lie. At its core, the story is just really about following your dreams. And I hate to say it, but you know... Tommy Wiseau had a dream, and God damn it, he pursued it. We all have dreams. We do anything and everything we can to achieve the dreams. It may not always be the best result, but the journey and the experience to get to said result um, ends up paying off in some weird, strange, fucked up kind of way, which is actually what happened with Tommy Wiseau in the room. You see, obviously the moon, the the film fucking tanked, obviously, um, but over time, over the past. 
15 years, 17 years since it was initially released. We're still talking about it. I'm still talking about it. My best friend Cortez still talks about it. Like, we still talk about this fucking film. It just stands the test of time. Like, yes, it's a complete shit movie, but it's a fun movie. Like, you could just sit down and talk shit about it. It's it's funny. Like, you get a lot of, like, you get good laughs. You get, like, all these emotions all wrapped up in this fucking pile of shit. And the disaster artist pretty much polish, polishes that the pile of shit. And, like, you know, um, God bless James Franco, Seth Rogen, man. I mean, they've created something that's truly, uniquely special. With that said, the disaster artist will get a... Haha, -ha, just kidding! I can do this now! It gets a fucking 9.7 out of 10! With that said, that's all the time I have. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry it took so damn long to get to this. I just moved over here. I'm not in my hometown, obviously. I'm in a whole new location, a whole new setup. So look forward to more Sandro Goes Off in the near future as soon as I get to it. I already have some ideas and hopefully you're there with me. So take care, be safe, and I'll see you all next time.